We're a small family-owned limestone quarrying company. My grandfather started the business in 1937 with two or three other employees, and we've grown to 230 employees. Here in the rock quarry, a typical day, we crush about 3,000 to 3,500 ton of rock a day. We got a full cat fleet here. At average, we got 13 pieces of equipment running at all time, every day, 10 hours a day. Ever since I've been working for Shellbergs, we've always had cat equipment. They've always had it serviced by Ziegler. Ziegler does all our oil samples. We look for antifreeze, and if it's getting high in iron or copper, we take care of it before it gets that far. We do like to keep up on tune-ups and, and oil changes to prevent major breakdowns. Schilberg Construction knows how to crush rock and they know how to move dirt. They're a high hour usage company. They get equipment and they use it. We have dozens of pieces of equipment with well over 30 or 40,000 hours. The 980H we got, it's the perfect size for the trucks that we're loading. I run the machine Monday through Friday, 7 to 5.30. Yesterday I watched the hour meter turn 23,000 hours. In the last three years, it hasn't been in the shop for any major fixes or anything, but when it's being used, I can tell that the pins are getting loose and wore out. So this total rebuild's gonna make it a new machine again, that's what we need. One of the reasons we really look at CAD equipment is the possibility of rebuilding them numerous times. The option for rebuilding an existing machine in a customer's fleet has become more and more popular. Caterpillar designs their frames and structures to 30, 40, 50,000 hours. The rebuild process gives our customers the ability to pull that value out of the machine. In the rebuild process, what we'll do is pick the machine up from the customer's job site, bring it to one of our facilities where the machine is going to be cleaned, disassembled completely. All the parts will be inspected. All service letters and updates will be performed. And we'll have all new hoses, wiring harnesses, cylinders resealed, so forth. Since I've been a rebuild specialist at Ziegler, I've been involved with probably about 70 to 80 rebuilds. The 980H rebuild that we'll be doing will consist of a lot of hours to be working on. Uh, we'll have technicians on first and second shift working 10 to 12 hours a day. We're going to put a lot of time and effort into this to make it right. The 980H that we have right now currently does not have a lot of technology on it. So we're going to upgrade it with a new LED light system. We're going to put a tire monitoring pressure system on there, a seatbelt reminder, a wave system camera with a backup camera. With the upgraded technology enhancements, it's going to create lower cost per hour, maximize productivity, and ultimately add to operator safety. We don't tend to just buy a machine and trade it off. We do rebuild, and we rebuild multiple times, and you can do that with CAD equipment. We have numerous pieces of equipment that have gone through three total rebuilds. We keep the CAD equipment around because it's built to be rebuilt. I've been a CAT fan for as long as I can remember, and I have always wanted to run one of these loaders. I wouldn't trade it for anything.